Hello everybody. I am going to just go ahead and get straight into it for replay watchers because I know a lot of people love to watch a replay and um, I want this to be at seven tips. It's a lot. So I got a lot to get through, but I have personally recruited over 200 people in the last two years on my own, right? Without reaching out to anybody. Um, I have coached and mentored and trained hundreds to thousands of people in this industry. Um, I've, led, I've led company wide trainings, corporate leg trainings. So I feel like, hey, Jordan, I feel like um, I love to give back. I love to help people. Somebody once did videos like this to help me be successful. So why not? pour back to people and I know that they're like I haven't I've made it to leadership ranks in every single company have I been a millionaire no but do I have four digit type of paychecks in a month yes so I know there's people out there that are maybe just trying to get to where I'm at even though I'm still trying to level up myself right I know people are like girl I would love to get to where you're at I would love to do what you've done in different companies I would love to recruit hundreds of people without reaching out to somebody so I'm gonna share with you seven things that I feel like have helped me um, be successful in this industry and I really 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 want more people to do a few of them because man there's things that happen in this industry that makes it look bad like I remember seven or eight years ago like when I before I joined my first company which was unique I was like network marketing like the Mary Kay and Avon and like like go into people's homes and knocking on people's doors like I'm not that person I'm not a salesperson I don't do that never gonna be me and here I am seven years later but there's the right way to do it right and that's what I'm here for so the first thing I think is super easy like most people should know this but I'm going to go into depth about what this means so the first tip is to not be scammy can I get some like Who's tired of getting a random message from a network marketer in your inbox about joining the opportunity? Who's tired of having somebody be like, hey, you want to try my products? Hey, you want to try my products? Hey, 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 you. Hey, you, Sam. I see you. Oh, oh, you want to lose weight? You want to you wanna try this product? Oh, you got acne? Is it bad? Oh, you need this product. Oh, you, you want some new clothes? You're trying to ramp up your wardrobe? You're cleaning out your closet? Oh, girl, DM you. And they're like, you need to try my stuff. Like, I cannot. Like, I literally did a story the other day, and I had, like, a, a flare-up bump that came. And somebody messaged me, like, hey, girl, I got a product that can help you with that. And I'm like, okay, how embarrassing that, one, you notice. And two, you mention it to me. And three, I have my own stuff that works. I just have to, like, go drink some water and wash my face better instead of skipping nights. And it's going to clear up. Because guess what? It's gone. It cleared up. But thank you for reaching out. Like, I would never, ever, ever reach out to somebody with acne, with skin issues or anything and say, hey, I got some skincare for you. You need to try it. I would never, if I was with a weight loss company and I see somebody that's a little chubby or even if they talk about wanting to lose weight, be like, hey, I saw your status. You want to lose some weight? You want my products? Stop that madness. And also stop just cold messaging people in general. Like, and I messaged this, send it to my team and said, Y'all, this stuff gets on my nerves because this is what makes this look bad. I got a random message from a girl, don't even know her name. She doesn't know if I got five kids and a, or yeah, five kids and a husband. I was gonna say five husbands. That would be kind of crazy. She doesn't know if I'm in Alaska. She has no idea who I am. But she sent me this message about her opportunity. Instead of, hey, like, who are you? Where are you from? Like, let's network, let's connect. Are you already in business? What business do you do? I would love to hear about it. I want to talk to you about mine too. Maybe we can swap some product. Like do something besides just send me a cold message. Okay. Okay. So let's stop all that. Like let's stop being spammy. I know someone told you that you get out there. Because I, I agree. Get out there. But there's a right way to get out there without being like, like, don't, don't do that. Okay. Thank you for the... You want to be entered to win $100? Oh gosh, Amanda, yes. Like, scroll on past. All right, the next one, number two, is be duplicatable. Okay. Drop below um, CC for like carbon copy. Now, I want to go ahead and give this disclaimer because I know there's, I've gone on rants about this. I have gone on like straight shoot stuff. I don't mean like carbon copy, literally copy paste word for word what people are doing i do mean as a leader as someone that wants to be successful as someone that wants to have teammates 
you do need to do things that are duplicatable. McDonald's would not be a billionaire company if they didn't have duplicatable sources, if they, they didn't have duplicatable franchise, right? Like you have your own store, but you're trying to duplicate by having teammates. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in network marketing. You would go do your own thing, right? So if you are not doing something that people want to duplicate, then you're not doing something right. Whoop, drop. Say it again. When I, as, a, as a, an online business person, I, as a leader, when I start seeing people trying to duplicate what I'm doing, they try to duplicate a challenge or duplicate an incentive or duplicate a fun way to market their products, then I know that I'm doing something good. I know that if it got their attention and they like it, then that means my customers like it. That means some potential partners probably like it. If you're not finding things that are good, that people actually want to mimic you and into, uh, and I was going to say intimidate, but that's clearly not <laughs> imitate you, then you are not leveling up enough. You're not doing something right. So take it as a compliment. I know I have to sometimes cringe. Like when somebody literally copies and pastes something I do, I'm like, Ugh. like no one knows, like not like that's my lingo. That's my talk. So I know their network is going to know that's not them saying those things because some people don't say things the way I say it. Right. But I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's a compliment. But so what I want you to do, and my team knows this about me, I might make a graphic and I'm like, yes, go share it. They go share it, but they say their own stuff. Or if I'm doing something that's like a cool incentive, like I bought some cool um, spa headbands, go, go, go do that, go duplicate that. I share my moves with my team, literally every moves. I see some teammates here, y'all can attest. I'm like, hey guys, it's Monday. This is what I'm doing today. This is what I'm doing for a power hour. I show the how to so they can go easily implement and mix it up and change it for themselves. I show them literally how to follow up. Like I will send them a voice clip. Here's my voice clip I sent to a customer. Go record, go listen to it five times if you have to. Go write down what I'm saying. Go make something similar. Send it to yourself and then go send it to your customers, right? Find duplicatable systems. Okay. Next. Be, uh, people join people. I've heard that before, like five, six years ago. And I was like, oh, what does that even mean? Like people like join product, like people do go to products for companies, not the people in a way. Yes. But once I started seeing like top leaders leave and an influx of people follow, or even once I left a company and the people followed. And then when I left another company, people followed, I started to realize the truth behind that because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter like what I'm selling, what products I offer. To me, it's all about the experience. To me, it's it's not it's the money is great too. It, it it provides me a lifestyle that I won't have if I don't have my side business. And I literally thank God every day for my hustle, my side hustle, and my teammates and the people that I have like loved and people in my network, even if they've never bought from me, but we just connect. Side sisters, like I would have never known these people that are amazing and have added value to my life. But all that's a tool for how I have my glam room community, like how I build a fun sisterhood community, how I coach and let people know that they, their confidence is always there. Help people find their true best version of themselves. Like that's why I do all this. So people want to be a part of that. So you have to figure out who you are, your brand, what you offer and try to find ways to, you know, what, like have a purpose that people want to be behind and I don't just mean follow you like people join people as far as like your team I also mean your products you guys I was just talking to one of my teammates today and I was like I have had this customer she's been a customer of mine for seven years she has been with me from the very beginning when I was slinging some 3d lashes all the way to now and that is very very cool and uh I mean I think that's just I don't know. It's like a, a nice thing to know that you have somebody's loyalty that that much. That they support me so much that they follow me. People in my glam room are like, Julia, I don't care if you're selling makeup. I don't care if you're doing like a like wardrobe. I don't care if you're selling skincare. I don't care if you're selling in pots and pans. Whatever you're doing, I want to be a part of because I love to be a part of what you're doing. Right. So once you get that in your mind that people are going to be around and do join me or help um, support me and what I'm doing and be about this because it's me, then that's when you're going to start being able to shift your mindset on what you do. I don't care if it's makeup, like I was saying before, jewelry. 
I'm offering an experience. I'm offering connectivity, community, um, helping people grow and develop, right? All right. People join people. Next, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I actually learned this from, uh, I guess, a couple, two companies ago from a leader. When she was like, I don't have time to shout out everybody. She's actually our CEO now. And um, Palm Affair. She's like, I don't have time to shout out everybody. Shout out yourself. And at first I was like, well, that's rude. But she was like, no one knows who I am. Go tell your network what you're doing. And then celebrate your wins. And then I started to realize that's actually a brilliant thing to do. Because... No one wants to be with somebody that they don't think is successful. Like if somebody's like, oh, I've started hearing more about this Palm Affair stuff. I have noticed this one girl, she talked about how she sold over $6,000 in skincare in just a couple of months. And she talked about how she's promoted so many times. And she talked about how she did this corporate wide training. I need to reach out to her and see what she's doing with the, what, what she knows about Palm Affair, right? Because people join success. People love success. I don't know about you, but I want to be around somebody that I know is going to be successful than just somebody that I know is just like, they're not like, are they open? Are they selling? Are they even doing it? I don't even know, right? So celebrate your wins. Every single win that you have. Your network actually loves to cheer you on. My uh, month last month, what I didn't even have a promotion, but I had a nice check and I had teammates um, coming in for promotions. And it was so cool to see so many people in my network cheering me on. Like, how much further are you before you like for you to reach your goal? Like, you're so close. You got to hit it. Like, it is the coolest feeling, especially right now when we can't be close to each other. We can at least be close through social media. And so I just feel like tooting your horn. At first it might seem awkward, but then it feels really good. <laughs> and then you start seeing more success because when you are looking for success, so what does that mean? You might not have be at the top. It might just be, girl, you had $200. And $200 in sales has been your highest ever. And $200, if you go say, I had $200, like that might not sound like a lot, right? But if you just say, I've had my highest sales month ever, that's pretty amazing. Maybe you had $50 in sales one month, and then you had $100 in sales the next month. Well, girl or guy, you just doubled your sales. So go and talk about that. I doubled my sales in one month. So look for those wins. I mean, I'm a math person, so I can always tweak percentages and make things like sound awesome because they are awesome. It's growth. It's real things that's happening. But go share it in a way where people are going to be like, dang, you are winning. And then you're going to notice those small wins at $50 to $100. And it's pretty cool because this girl on my team, uh, I've noticed her sales crank tremendously from when she first joined because she started uh, sharing these small wins, right? And then those small wins become medium wins. And then those medium wins become large wins. So tooting your horn is super, super huge. Even the small wins count, absolutely. People want 200, they think that's attainable, exactly. All right, a fifth thing, and I kind of talked about this before and I said duplicatable, be duplicatable. Um, you want to develop and maintain systems, but not only develop and maintain systems, you want systems that are simple easy for people to follow and do and obviously that work they're effective right so for instance i share with my team like here's our here's a power hour that i did specific don't just go say go work your business for an hour then and explain what a power hour is give them specifics i uh, specifically shared a schedule for my glam room uh my group where i can schedule posts like these are the types of posts i schedule each day find different things like that um, but you want to do things like if you share, like if I, let's say I was a leader that scheduled an hour and a half coaching calls with everyone on my team. And that's my thing. Like you have a whole hour and a half with me, schedule a time. A lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh. So when I get to that level, I have to do that. People are going to be like, oh no. So you want to have de de uh, develop and maintain systems that you know you can maintain but also that you know other people are going to be able to want to do because if they see things are like oh I have to do that as a top leader or I have to do that in the leadership ranks I don't know if I can maintain that I think I'm very transparent about how I have a full-time job as an assistant principal but I'm also able to work my business and here's how 
right? So when you're able to be transparent and show people how to balance it all, you're going to have more people on board. And also you have to think about finding systems that work for different people. Um, after like I was in the classroom, so as a teacher, you know, you have to find things that work for different kids and meet them where they are. Even now in administration, I have to find things that work for different teachers and meet them how they are. It's the same for your customers. It's the same for your teammates. So one, one thing might work for some, maybe a chat, works for some, but maybe a face-to-face -face work for others or make like face-to-face -face, as in FaceTime, Facebook, video, Google Meet, Zoom, that kind, right? Um, or maybe they just want to pick up the phone and chat and talk. Or maybe they're just a texter and you can get some things done through text. So if you have to try and I'm, I sometimes get caught up in trying like one size fits all, but every now and then I do some one-on-one -on -one type things or I break up my, my team group. Like these are my runners. They need to be doing this with me. These are my people. They just wanted to kind of honestly be a discount shopper. They, they signed up and let's see how if we can um, inspire them and motivate them to try these products and be a believer and then share them. So just think about that. Developing systems that work for you, but also that other people can easily duplicate. Because when my leaders get to my rank, I wanna be able to tell them, these are the chats I have. These are the things I've done that you can easily maintain and do yourself. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Drop me a heart if this is helpful for you. All right, on to number six. Number six. Level up your circle. I know y'all have heard this a lot, probably if you're in business or just in life. If you're the smartest person in the room, you need to find a new room. If you are the wisest in your group of circle, then you need to find a new circle. It is the same in business. So that means um, maybe leveling up could mean if you're beginning, but you are promoting fast and you're running, then you don't need to be with those beginners that are trying to figure out how to post on, on stories. You don't need to be with those beginners. You need to go ahead and level yourself up to a different circle. So maybe reach out to your upline and be like, hey, who are your runners? You know, we have different level chats in my company. So go ahead and push up yourself to some of those higher chats. I know for me, I'm in different chats and sometimes I'm like, yes, it's, these are my people. Or sometimes I'm like, I need to keep going. I need to get to, to this chat. I need to get to this type of community. I need to be within in this type of circle because that's where I'm at. So if you're constantly leveling up your circle, this is honestly true in life. I've done this with friendships. I've done this with um, in my professional world. I'm a first year um, AP, but I feel like I've had leadership skills that I've used for several years of my life. I've always have been a leader. You know, you're the head cheerleader. I was a captain in drill team. I was... Like, you always, like, I've always been a leadership type things my whole life, a natural leader. So I'm like, yes, I'm a first year AP, but I know how to leave. So I've been doing this for like my whole life. So I need to get to some circles with some APs that have maybe been doing this for a few years that I can really learn from. Right. So this is a life tip. So level your circle so you can continue to grow. But always do things like this. Pour back to people um, so that way they can continue to level up and grow from you too. All right. Last one is the easiest one, but for some reason, for some people, it's the hardest one. Do you and be you. So, or go do, I'm sorry, go do and be you. So go do. So I'm, I can say that out of my seven years, I probably only had like a small season of time where I didn't work my business. Like I literally like, I don't know what's going on in life. I just didn't do it for like a month or two and that's fine but I'm constantly doing, there's literally not a day or there's hardly ever, I should say, a day that goes by where I don't work my business. Even if it's just 30 minutes, sometimes it might be four hours. It just depends, but I'm constantly doing. If that doesn't work, okay, mm, I tried that, that didn't work, my network didn't respond to that, my customers didn't like that, throw it out. Oh, they like this, let's do this again, make a note, do this later. Oh, um, I like sharing these fun Instapot recipes and people are loving that too and they, you know, are inspired by that. But then I also go ahead and mention my sale. By the way, I'm having this cool sale tomorrow. If you want to know about it, message me and then people might message you just dropping that one little thing, right? So always doing, always moving, not just sitting because an object at rest stays at rest. So if you're not seeing the success you want, then you're probably not doing enough. I'm just gonna be honest with you. You're not doing enough. And by doing enough, I mean by having a reflective mindset of knowing what works, what doesn't work and that. 
an object in motion stays at motion, right? So if you're in motion and you're doing, you're, gonna, you're going to keep doing. And if you're leveling up your circle, you're going to keep growing. And if you're developing and maintaining systems at work, then you're going to be duplicatable. And if you're tooting your horn along the way, then people are going to join people, right? They're going to join you. And therefore, you're not being spammy. That was just my seven tips all in one. You like how I did that? So that is it, you guys. That's what I got for you. That is how I've gotten to where I am in network marketing and have gotten to leadership ranks in each company and have inspired or helped hundreds to thousands of people on the way. And it is something I love to do. That's why I still do it because I love... Um, I love impact. That's my purpose. That's my why is to impact people and to help how I can. So if this is helpful, share it, share it with your team and your team group, share it with somebody that you feel like could benefit from it. I would love, um, you know, to help support you in that way as well. All right. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye.